And hello YouTube, this is Thomas Judge back once again with another installment of my library tour. So for this particular video, it's actually just going to be showing some of my video games and how they're set up, how I've arranged the shelves, and a few quirks here and there. So um, if you're only interested in the comics, feel free to skip this video. But I thought it'd make a lot of sense just to do a more comprehensive library tour and just show you all of my um, sort of media paraphernalia and how it's all arranged. So uh, with no further ado, let's get into it. back into it and this is of course where the magic happens all right back in the library back in the game okay so today hopefully it's going to be shorter than the last couple of mammoth videos um I just wanted to chat about just this corner here, I guess. This isn't a video game channel. This has never been a video game channel. Um, but it'd be remiss of me to pretend that I'm not massively into video games. So this is kind of just how I store my games and how I store my um, handhelds. Um, I'll talk about my consoles in the later video. But in case anyone was tempted to do it, uh, what I have here are some short billies. So these are half-width billies. You saw this shelf last time. These billies are 40 centimetres wide. And I've got two of them just to form a nice little corner unit. What I've done here is got some... Um, timber repair struts, hammered them flat, and then just stuck them on to uh, hold these together. Because otherwise, if your floor is not absolutely perfectly super, super straight, then these will not line up properly. So I just drilled them in, screwed them in together. So what we have here is my games. And much like this shelf here, these middle shelves are fixed. The rest of them are pretty flexible, but uh, these middle shelves here are fixed. So I'm not gonna dive into these in a lot of detail. One thing I will point out is you're probably wondering, why is there Tupperware? Why is there Tupperware hidden behind my games? Um, because sometimes people come around to my house and they're assholes and they sit there just playing around and poking my games and making them look stupid. So I'll give you an example of the sort of thing I mean. Here are my games, and if someone was to poke them, They look nice. Nice. Similarly here. Nice. I'll, I'll show you what happens if you don't have the Tupperware in them. So that's the Tupperware removed. And now imagine you, someone comes into your library and they're like, oh, you've got a... That's quite... Oh, well, these aren't... Well, these don't look very... Oh, it's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Well, what's that about? People can be like that. Um, some of my friends are like that because they're total assholes. So what I do is I've got Tupperware behind there just to also make sure that the games stay at the front because if you have them at the back like you can't really it doesn't look very good is it i mean let's, let's be fair you want them near the front you don't want them like right on the edge but you want them near the front now i know some people get around this by getting the more shallow units um if anyone's ever seen the uh more recent room tour by riley moore omnibus collector who's got a great channel he shows that he uses something called a Gnedby. Um, which is a very shallow sort of an even narrower sort of shelf from Ikea used to be called a Benno I think um, and, and that definitely resolves the problem because it's, it's much more shallow and it doesn't go in very far um, however what that means is that you then have to line it up at the front and it has a big gap at the back and, and if you put it flush against the wall that means that your shelves will sort of go in and out and so on um, it's a bit frustrating so I wouldn't recommend doing that I would recommend doing what I've done here which is having them sort of braced by anything behind them. That is terrible. Let me put my Tupperware back. All right, and we're good. Um, so I've done the same thing here. I mean, you can use whatever you want, cardboard boxes, toilet paper, bubble wrap, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, so I bought a bunch of these. And um, where did I get them from? I can't remember. I basically just went around until I found some Tupperware that was exactly the right width, and then I bought like 20 of them. Uh, what I've got here, my PS Vita games. The only thing I'm going to point out here to you is XCOM, which as you may or may not be aware was never actually released as a physical game. That's digital only. So what I did, um, because I didn't realise that places like Limited Run Games existed, um, I made my own case. So this is the front of my case, which I made myself. And this is the back of my case, which I made myself. Pretty good. So 
So I started to show you guys that. Um, that's something I made way before I started making dust jackets, and it was good fun. Um, again, as ever, never feel like you have to compromise with your collection, although in retrospect, I'm sure that had I looked online, I would have found some of my light limited run games that would make something like this. Um, what's that? PS Vita, PSP Games. My PSP is in a box somewhere. A Nintendo Switch, got that recently, only have the one game for it. And then an empty shelf. And if we move over here, empty shelf here as well. Another empty shelf. Uh, that's my, uh, what is that? That's my Game Boy Advance, and the Game Boy Advance games. Okay, let me just get to my feet. Nintendo DS, Nintendo DS games, batteries, PS4 games, PS4 games, PS4 games. Just wanted to do a quick one, guys. That's how I've set up my um, video game section. I've got another video game section behind me. I'll All briefly right, and there zip we through have it. Um, in a later video. That's the section but that's how I've done it. That's how I've set up the corners. Games, just those um, uh, two shelves. Easy, straightforward, the simple. Two larger comic book Give shelves. Give it a try. Um, Until next hope time. That was useful, guys. Hope you find it interesting. Please let me know your thoughts. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and as always, please support the channel by heading over to Amazon and picking up my prose novel, No Gods or Kings. Um, until next time, guys, stay classy.